everyone and welcome to my channel if you're new welcome don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos today I'm very excited because I was waiting for almost two weeks to film this video full face makeup under $20 or under 200 Swedish crowns and everything is in here I ordered these products from my website luxplus.sc I think and um, it's a Swedish website where you get the beauty products cheaper because it's a big sale all the time but you do pay eight around eight dollars a month as a, mem a membership but I buy a lot of products every month so for me I do save money look it up if you live in Sweden if it's something for you because you can't really save money if you buy a lot of beauty products or shampoos or products well I will say um, I haven't tried any of these products before and they are drugstore products so it's very affordable and um, I'm very excited very excited I have no idea how this makeup will turn out I do have my moisturizer on but nothing else that's it if you can see I did start breaking out I don't know why and we'll see if we can succeed to cover that. So let's st start with a primer. I bought this 007 Prime Magic Face Primer, camera ready. Uh, reduce the appearance of pores and fine lines, fine lines, making the complexion smooth and flawless. Let's try it. It reminds me of Smashbox. I think they have the similar packaging. It's thick, almost like a gel. Oh, it doesn't smell nice. It really feels like Smashbox. Did fill in my some of my pores. So let's take the foundation. I did buy two, and I paid. I will put all the information and prices down below. But I think I paid two point twelve dollars or nineteen crowns, Swedish crowns. And I ordered 003 medium and light, 002 light. And I don't know which one I will use. Let's see medium first, because I do like my foundations a little bit darker. If you hear something in the background, that's my son. Well, this one, I don't know. Let's try the light one. This one is too light, I think. Well, yeah, let's try the darker one and see. So, I will use my beauty blender, and this one is Insta Glow Foundation Flawless Luminize Complexion from this boy. Have you heard about this brand before? It's a little bit thick. I don't know, it's not full coverage. It feels almost like BB cream or something. It feels very light. It feels almost like a cream. This is one coat. I'm not really happy, so I will take some more. So I did put two coats on the of the foundation on my skin and it oh my god, I do not like it. It is very patchy and looks very dry. Oh, and it's not even at all. I don't know if it's the primer or what because on the packaging it says Let me see instant flawless and luminized complexion smooth perfecting formula for second skin effect No, not really uh, Perfect healthy looking finish all day long and it's not oh my god. I Will zoom in when I'm finished with this look so you can see really 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 looks terrible right now but we'll see I don't know if it's the primer because 
the foundation felt almost like a BB cream, very moisturized. Uh, and this primer is like almost like a silicone primer, thick primer. I don't think this maybe they, they, these two work together, but we'll see. I will try this foundation once well, more just to see. Okay, no concealer, but I do have O2, the lighter foundation, and I will use that as my concealer. Why not? Why not? Why not? See? I don't know what to say. This video it's not going to be good. This foundation is just a big disaster right now. I don't know if you can see it, but don't come close. Don't you come close to me. It looks terrible. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. I, I, let's just move on. We need to set this makeup, but before I do that, I need to take, try this blush. It's also from Miss Sporty, Morning Baby Cream Blush. And because it's a cream blush, I don't want to put that over a powder. It's a little bit patchy too. I don't know, this foundation is maybe making it worse, but not bad. The blush is not bad. It dries very fast, so you have to be fast when you work it. Now I will use this Aldogar pressed powder. Oh, I forgot to say that I paid one dollar for this. Nine Swedish crowns. So I bought this Aldogar pressed powder and this is translucent. Ooh, it feels powdery. And doesn't look translucent. <gasps> It does have some color. I don't find this translucent. But it works okay. Well, this setting powder doesn't look bad. But the foundation looks so terrible. So everything else is just big. Uh, well, let's do the bronzer. And I bought this Revolution. Looks like this, and I paid two point twelve dollars, and it's nineteen Swedish crowns. Oh, look! It opens like this, and it has like sponge underneath. Oh my God! This looks weird. The oh bronzer feels smooth. It looks very nice on my hand. And I very pigmented, so we'll use a little bit. Let's try to contour first. When I first started with makeup, I used bronzer to contour my face. Oh, I do like it. So I'll take this bigger brush and uh, use this bronzer all over my Okay, you probably hear Super Mario in the background, but that's my son watching YouTube. I do like this bronzer. I do like it. I don't like the sponge that comes with it here looks weird we are not going to use that it looks amazing foundation disaster but it really went very well all over my face so big plus for that one 
So let's go over to the eyes, guys. I'm, I bought this I Got the Power All Day Wear Eyeshadow Base Primer from 007. I did saw a lot of the products from 007 here in Sweden, but I never bought anything. I don't know why. This video is going to be very long, so stay with me, guys. Stay with me. So let's try this one. Feels like a silicone primer. I don't know if I like that on my eyes, but we'll see. And then I'm going to set that with this powder again, pressed powder from Outdoor Girl. I'm going to use this sponge that I got from this uh, Revolution bronzer. It says translucent, but can you see? It doesn't look translucent. It really doesn't look translucent. It definitely has some pigmentation. I don't know if I like this powder. It's so hard to see say anything with this foundation and this primer but I will try it and of course tell you in another video what, what I think about it well I didn't buy any eyebrow products I will use a little bit of this bronzer to to fill in my eyebrows a little bit I used to do that when I was younger when I didn't had uh, money for makeup um think it looks okay and i bought this per outdoor girl eyeshadow quartz it looks like this it's kind of purple colors and I paid for it 2.12 dollars, 19 crowns around. They are all shimmer. I will use this pink, uh, the light one, all over my crease or all over my eye. Okay, then I'm going to use this darker purple in my crease. Look, no, I'm not going to do that. I'll use this bronzer in my crease because that shimmer doesn't go into crease. smaller blending brush this is Sigma E25 in my crease and then I'm going to use this purple one small blending brush and take the darkest color To take this blending brush from Emit Makeup E144 and without any eyeshadow just blend the edges. So I took this eyeshadow all over my eyelids with this flat brush and I do like this color. It looks a little bit streaky but it looks okay if you compare with these other colors in this little palette or what should I call it. Then I use the same brush and put some purple under my eyes. Then I'm going to take this brush and take this lightest one under my eyebrows. And I'm going to take this eyeshadow brush from Oriflame, I think it's called. 
I do like it. This is a blending brush, but I think it's too, too big for my eyes. I'm going to use this kind of champagne color as a highlighter because I thought it looked beautiful before. That works as a highlighter. It looks better as a highlighter than a than eyeshadow. We have two things left and we are going to use this Queen Bee Mascara. It's not my favorite color. Oh, it's hard to take it out. Oh, it's a big brush. I don't know. I'm scared. This brush is huge. And where is the mascara? I don't get it. I don't like this mascara, it does separate the eyelashes, it doesn't give them to any color at all I think, it's just very subtle and uh, it doesn't give, make them longer, which is something that I really look in every mascara that I use. And I bought this lipstick from um, Miss Sporty and it's in 013 Candy Cake. Okay, I just destroyed it. While I was trying to take this cap on, I was pulling my lipstick and I destroyed it a little bit. So, but it looks nice, the color. It looks beautiful. But let's see. It smells nice. It smells like, a ca it smells like candy. It's a nice color, smells very nice, but it's very streaky and it, get, it gets all over the place. But guys, I really hate this foundation. I don't know if it's foundation or is if it's the primer, but something is definitely wrong. You, you have to see it yourself. This is the eye look. I do like saddle, but the eyeshadows on that good but look at this foundation how it looks terrible look at my forehead look at my nose no foundation here look at my chin it looks so dry and patchy but the bronzer and the blush I do like and the um, eyeshadow for this as a highlighter looks very nice but this foundation is just a big, big mess. So my son is still watching YouTube, so that's why you're here in the background. I hope you don't mind. Now the foundation, I really need to try it without prime, because with this prime it looks like a big disaster. And I, and I don't know if it's primer or the foundation. I have to try this with some other products, but not together anymore. No. So I will definitely tell you in another video what I really think about these products because when you do a first impression maybe you like the product then you find it kind of work weird during the day or after you tried it or used it a couple of times so I had to I had to give them one more chance at least I look I do like this uh, eyeshadow primer but I don't know if it works I had to see because I have very oily eyelids sometimes or all the time so I don't find many of the primers that will work but we'll see during the day but otherwise it looks like okay it was easy to apply my um, eyeshadows went and blended well but eyeshadows are not that great it looks weird on my hand this one so I don't know I think they swatch better than they look on my eyes the lipstick I do not like. I really do not like. It's too moisturized. I don't know if you understand what I mean, but I, it feels almost like a balm and not a lipstick. It smells very nice, but it's too streaky and too creamy. And it looks very weird. It looks patchy. 
and on my teeth. Oh my god. Big no. I don't know, it smells nice, but I found it smelled a little bit too much right now on my lips because the smell doesn't disappear. I still can sense it and I do not I don't know if I like that. Uh, expe especially I often have headaches because uh, ah, that's one of the prob problems that I have I often get when I'm stressed I get headaches and if I wear something like this that smells as strong as this one does on my lips I will definitely get headache the product that I really really like is this bronzer from Revolution but I do like a lot of the Revolution products Mascara, it's oh my god, I don't like it. Brush is too big, it's uh, too plastic, it hurts my eye, doesn't do anything, nothing. Separates my eyelashes, maybe, but don't like it, do not like it. Uh, the blush I do like, it dries, where is it? The blush I will definitely try a couple of times because it looks beautiful. It looks very dark, but you, when you blend it in, it looks nice, uh, but it dries down very fast, so you have to be fast when you work with it. Feels nice, and I do like how it looks on my cheeks. I do like how it looks on my cheeks. So I will try it, definitely. But you have to be very fast when you work with it, because if you don't blend it, fast enough it will dry and look patchy so that's what I found out but now but it doesn't feel sticky when it's dry really it doesn't feel sticky and it feels like it's not going anywhere this pressed powder it feels powdery it says translucent but I don't find it translucent I'm sorry I do not I will try it a couple more times but it's so hard to get the product out you have to dig in there so my two favorite products the blush and the bronzer. Set is called Café Au Lait. They blended nice, but not, they are not as pigmented as I would like. My favorite color in this palette, or set, champagne color, this one is my favorite. Very nice as a highlighter, so we'll definitely use that one. Well, that was everything for today. Thank you for watching. Give a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. And uh, see you soon. Thank you guys. Bye.